explaining how to activate Rico IWB software suite for Windows and the settings. This software can be configured to open automatically when starting up with Windows OPS. Please refer to a separate video for instructions on how to insert the OPS into the slot on the back of the interactive whiteboard IWB and start it up. I will explain the steps to prepare the software for use. First, download and install the software from Rico's website. Once installed, the software will appear on the screen. Activation is required to use the product version. After installation, the admin setting option will appear. When you open it, the setting screen will appear with you logged in as the admin account by default. Initially, the software will not be activated. To use the product version, you need to enter a license key and activate it. A free trial version can be used for 30 days at no cost. To start the trial, tap free trial and a screen will appear asking, would you like to start a free trial? You can use it for 30 days starting from the activation date. When you tap OK, the free trial will be activated and the validity period will be displayed. Note that wireless projection is not available in the trial version. The pre-installed apps include Whiteboard, Microsoft Edge, and Explorer. I will explain how to add additional apps and shortcuts later. To activate the product version, open the admin panel in the admin setting menu, where you can enter the license key in the activation section. When you tap activate, the license key entry screen will appear. Enter the license key and tap the activate button to complete the activation process. Once activated, you can view the device ID and license key in the same section. After starting the free trial or activating the product version, you need to create a dedicated Windows account for using the software with admin privileges. This account is called the basic account. To create the basic account, open the initial setting app. When the screen is displayed, tap create dedicated account. The screen will change and when you tap accept, a new basic user account will be created. Various settings are managed through the admin user account, but when you start the OPS next time, the software will automatically launch and operate under the newly created basic user account. From device name in the system settings, you can change the device name displayed in the software. In the launcher settings, you can register applications and shortcuts to be displayed in the launcher. Up to 30 items can be registered. While only 16 items are visible at a time, you can scroll to view the rest. To register an application, tap Add and set the display name. Save the application in a location accessible to non-admin account users. Registration is completed by entering the file path and tapping Save. For example, to register Chrome, open the Task Manager and use Open File Location to find the save location of the Chrome application. Ensure the application file is stored in a location accessible to the basic user. Copy the file path, paste it into the designated field, and tap Save. Chrome will then be registered in the launcher. You can also change the display order of apps in the launcher or remove them by tapping the X icon. To register custom stamps and whiteboard, tap Register, and a folder will open. Save PNG image files in this folder to register them as stamps. You can then use your preferred images as stamps on the whiteboard.